are the largest gates I've ever seen. We will never batter them down. So, oh, you died as you lived, tough and unyielding. Honor to you, Thane. Smuggler, I last saw you in the tunnels. That was before your army started the burning and pillaging. This slaughter is not my doing. I mean to end this. You have not won yet. Char is marching toward Paris with his heavy horse. Gods, his army comes. Well, this, they are close and riding hard. All the more reason I must hurry and end this thing. I need a hidden way into Odo's palace. I know a way, but there is a band of Frankish warriors milling about. Show me. Upon my honor, I give you my word that Toker and I, we do not want this. Fine. I will lead the way. I will chase them off. We will dive! Hey, wait! That tunnel takes you into the palais. Thank you, Norman. And you? I will save what I can of my trade goods and leave through other tunnels. Godspeed, Evo. A safe journey to you two. A fine haul of Norse walker and Frankish riches. Looks like Norman smuggled for both sides.
How can you think of an animal lust today of all days? We may die today. Should I spend my last moment scrubbing floors or making love? May God have mercy on your soul, Abuda. Sneaking through the back door like that. Who are you? And what are you doing? Following that love-struck maid should lead me into the palace. Mon cher is coming. And... and he'll lock you up.
Oh, my lady, why the Count will not attend to you, I will never know. The mother of his children, to think it's so stubborn at Odo, and that pathetic Walter du Sens, too drunk to give last rites. A travesty, that one is. Pardon me, is that food for Count Odo? No, this is for Lady Theodrat, his wife. She lies at death's door. And who are you in such garb? A healer from Frisia. What happened to the lady? While helping wounded soldiers off the walls, she took an arrow in the belly. Persuade that worthless priest Walter to give her the last rites if you can. He's just upstairs. I will see what I can do. Thank you. Pardon me, good sirs. Where may I find the Count Odo? Count Odo? Who cares about Count Odo? Where is our good friend Walter de Sens? Oh, why? Who is Walter de Sens? A great warrior? Walter? A warrior? No. He is Count Odo's family priest. He's begging Odo to give us more wine. Huh? We plan to be past our trunk by the time the Northmen bust into here. Odo's priest might lead me to Odo, but I need to sneak past these guards to the servant's wing. Must be blocked from the other side. Follow me, father. Where is Count Odo? Oh, Odo? His foolish pride will kill us all. Yes, but where is he? Who are you again? No, I can tell you nothing without more wine. Ah, my memory has gone all hazy. Here's your wine. Now do you remember where is Count Odo? Wine? Ah, sweet, precious wine. The water of lies, the blood of Christ, the fiery flame of the world. Red wine, nothing more. You may have it. Oh, heaven hears my prayer. Now, I can die. Uh, before you do, where is Count Odo? Although, I do not know. But his wife lies wounded in her master bedroom. She may have answers. On the second story, along the main hall. Here, take the key. I lock the door. Thanks. I should head to Odo's bedroom.
Is that you, Odo, my love? No. You're too tall. Are you the priest? The light has grown dim. I see nothing but shapes. Father, will you hear my confession? Ah, oh, yes. I am the priest, your ladyness. Forgive me, father, for I have sinned. In my own pride, I went to battle without armor, thinking God would be my shield. And now I'm dying, and I will never see my sweet children again. Where are they, father? Are they safe? They uh, are safe with that good man, Walter de Saint. Do not fear. Thank you. But father, please, will you carry a message f from a dying woman to her beloved husband? I will, my dear. What should I tell Count Odo? That he is a good man. That he must live for our children's sake. For Paris. For Francia. He must not die for a mad king. I promise I will do this, good lady. Where may I find your husband? <laughs> Odo remains locked in his sanctum. His sanctum? Up the landing and across the hall. My husband still hopes Charles will ride forth and save the city. Locked in, you said. There is a key in the bureau. Take it. Help my husband a any way you can. Creeps upon me now, but slow and quiet, like a shadow at day's end. Eyelids so heavy. Mother, where are you? Farewell, good lady. Me, Lord. Your lady wife lies dying. Go to her. Your duty as a husband. My duty is here. When Charles and his army arrive, we will join the attack. We will crush the heathens between the hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris. Leave, Walter. Go comfort my wife as best you can. God, it seems, has chosen a different fate for me. The priest is right. Lay down your arms. Save your city. Among the Northmen, is not death in battle the best way to die? Come, share a glass of wine with a doomed man. I have heard many a warrior cry out for their mothers as their life's blood feeds the ground. I no longer can say if this is the best way to die. Your wife's wound is severe, an arrow to the gut. I saw her. I fear she won't last the night. And I won't last the next quarter of an hour. She said to be strong for your children. Do not throw away your life for a mad king. Look at these works of stained glass. Delicate. Priceless. Evro's artisans spend years crafting each piece. Wondrous works, I grant you that. We brought them here for safekeeping. 
In the hopes that your invading horde won't smash them to pieces. You tell me to surrender my city? Abandon my honor? You tell me to live out my days as Siegfried's prisoner? What would you do? I would fight. And someday, I will die with steel in my hand. As I know, it is my doom. But today is not that day. And if I put you on your back? Bleeding out and crying for your mother? My mother is already dead. Come, Norda! Bleed from her! Fine blade for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Odo, but not well enough. <clears throat> Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Charles and his army. He arrives in time to save the city. Fight! I see a flag of truce. Siegfried and Charles would hold parley. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor. And trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eivor. I shall. Lord Siegfried, I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. Silver for a truce. Not a truce, but a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen, and you bend the knee 
to your king. I do not kneel to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter, let me take counsel. Eivor, thank the gods you live. As do you. Good. I made it inside the palace. Odo would have surrendered the city, but... But Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. Aye. And you? After we split up, I took my thanes and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby, safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave. The lucky and the brave. So it is said. And Charles, he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah, indeed. And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every war thane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By luck, he's bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy. Your battle, Siegfried. Your choice. I'm here to forge my own truce with Charles. You earned your share of the wealth all the same. Never fear, Eivor. Charles must put his kingdom back together. He cannot attack England after today. Charles, we take your gift. And in return, we give you peace. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend and protect our lands in Amiens and Rouen. Gosler, Abel, and my wife died defending Paris from these river pirates. And now, you offer them the very silver we paid you to defend us. Are you mad? Wait. We know you are. Let me ask instead, are you a coward or a fool? Siegfried swears to protect our lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine. Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day, but I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait. A final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. I cannot hand over the boy to one such as you. He's free to go where he wills. You dare defy me? Do you want battle, King? I will take your silver and your balls. Do not wreck our truce over one small boy. Bernard is not any boy. He is my only son and heir. What? Have you forgotten how to make another? This is not over. Eivor of England. Ah, we have won a great victory and a great treasure. Come, we feast. Tomorrow, the Franks will bury their dead, thanking their god that they yet live. And they should, for Paris was merely kissed this time.
Should we breach those walls again, we will bare our teeth and bite! And should Charles judge it wise to draw swords against us again, let him remember the glint of our axe blades. Let him remember the red mist on the air, the taste of iron. Enjoy the feast all! A purse full of silver to any who can drink more ale than I! Skull! Like this? What is this? Racing against pigs? <laughs> yes! What is more amusing than watching drunken men race against pigs? <laughs> We've done worse things to entertain ourselves. Would you like to try, Eivor? There is a small price for the winner. Or are you not fast enough? Explain the race to me. Run along the lead pathway as fast as that old swine, Hermod. The first to do two laps wins. Where do I start? A <laughs> good sport, Eivor. You will start here. Run when the pig starts running. To raise the stakes and fun, I will join you too. Ready? Try. Don't make picks that fast in England. Oh, and you're pretty quick as well. I won the race, but Hermod is the big winner tonight. Oh, no matter the winner, the joy was in the doing. Indeed. And we sure slice open Frankia's belly this time, eh? Now to feast on her entrails. The winnings are worthy of a serpent's lair. And the roads glisten from the dew of slaughter. Yes, though... One wonders if such butchery was needed. No lessons today, Eivor. I doubt I will remember them. Maybe you should put down that ale prow for a time. Without doubt. But that time has not yet come. <laughs> you are hopeless. That is clear. I took a handsome sword to meet the fighting. Have it. A keepsake to remember this day by. You honor me. I will cherish the blade. By the way, I was glad you did not turn over Bernard. I miss Sinric, but a father like Charles is worse than no father at all. I could not doom the boy. It is not a price I think my clan would have me pay for their safety. <laughs> Oh, you 
standa þar. Í þessu tilfelli er röspa hér í öllum allir tíma. Aftur, aftur, Vindur! Hver að þeirri gamna? Áfram, áfram! Ó, þetta er glæsilegt, Örn! Hyljar er þeirra við glóð! Ah, Eivor! Here is something even you have never done. Tossing food for sport. Cheese throwing? The most pungent game of them all. Nastier than Charles himself. You enjoy this? I prefer to eat the cheese, but who am I to question the games of the people? So, want to toss some cheese? How do I win this game? You need to throw at least two blocks of cheese past the green banner. Quite simple. Oh, and you have three tries to get it done. Well, not hurt to try. Should be easy. Just try not to hit anyone. Oh, need to throw harder than that. Bravo, Evor. Good throw, Evor. Never underestimate the cheese. Did I underestimate the... You definitely earned the prize, so here, some stray silver from the spoils of Paris. You expected a different outcome. I thought you best for rallying a siege and swinging a sharp stick. Was not sure how you would toss some cheese. There's much about me you don't know, Pierre. Oh, pray tell. What else should I know? Worry not about what I might teach. Right. Plenty to celebrate about this night. Don't let me spoil your fun. Go on. Something was amiss with Siegfried earlier. A little ale may have lifted his spirits by now. Eivor the Talker. Quite a trove of riches, Secret. What were you doing with Count Odo as Charles' army marched on me and my men? I was trying to gain his surrender. What of it? Is it not strange? That you met with Odo, Richardis, even Charles himself, and yet all three still walk around with their heads. Everything I've done has been for my clan. It is curious that we must drench our blades in battle sweat to enjoy a night like this. This celebration is not about us and those we killed. It is for our dead, so that we may honor them. <laughs> the Frankish blood, the feasting. I still feel nothing. I find no peace in any of it. You avenged your murdered people. You gained glory in their names. Is that why I did what I did? Vengeance and glory. I wonder anymore why any of us do the things we do. Is it Valhalla? Is it clan? Or maybe we grant ourselves reasons to go from one mead cup to the next. Maybe there are no reasons, and we are no different than wolves, driven by some inner hunger we can never understand. That may be, but for the sake of our peoples, we must continue to act otherwise. No. I do not believe there is a hole waiting for us. This world is our hall. We get but one. I shall not pretend. 
Frankia's cup overflows with lush farmland, fat farmers and fatter purses. All the more for us to drink. Tomorrow, we quit this place and head south for greater bounties than even a king can grow. We gave Charles our word. Our word? You are the one who failed to return his son, Bernard. Have you forgotten? That was different. Charles would have... Fuck Charles! We spared Paris today, but tomorrow we march for Burgundy. And after that, all of Francia. I cannot let you do it, Siegfried. Then stop me. Will it be a home gang then, Wolfkist? I only ask that you honor your agreement. What does a crow starver like Charles know about honor? I owe him nothing. And he owes me everything. No amount of Frankish blood will bring Sinric or the others back. Some wrongs can never be made right. All this talk of right and wrong, honor, as if we can judge, it has no meaning. Can we explain all the blood on our hands, Eivor? Or are we two jesters on this Frankish stage, awaiting our final performance? Draw your weapon. If you want to find peace, this is not the way. We must build fresh bonds. Look forward to something new. Look forward, look back. It is death in both directions. We are but a morning fog that will inevitably lift. Now answer my challenge or dishonor yourself. Your sorrow will linger if you do not face it directly. My blood. The blood of more Franks will be no solve for your grief. It is as if you speak with Sinric's voice. I have been at sea with no stars to guide by since he died. And if your brother were here, what would be his counsel? To move forward. To live. My time here is over. My kin are dead. The ones who remain must decide what is right for themselves. Let it be Toka's time. What will you do? Leave this place. Ask different questions. Forget everything I know and... and find a new way. going away then I am going with him no Toga your clan needs you
he was not himself since my father died. A solitary man. But never more so than when he stood alone, tasked with rousing our desperate clan. He led well, but all leaders must one day step aside. That, or see others die because they held on to power for too long. When his strong voice echoed in this place, we knew what to do. We had courage, daring. And his fire still burns in your folk. Skull. Skull. I lack a taste for mulled wine. Sometimes a leader must drink the thing they wish not to. I have word from Count Odo. What does he want? An audience with Eivor. It is urgent. He says the Queen may be in peril. My spies confirm this. Charles has been hunting again for her and the boy. What do you think? Odo would not lie. He says it's urgent. I must go. I owe the Queen a debt, and I am honor-bound to see this through. Then go. You have fortune's favor, Wolfkist. <laughs> 